coffee now. Where's it go? Just outside the fence. Gotta be 300 meters long. Must have used some kind of drill to get it done that fast. No, oh, don't rule out extremist gophers. How are your children? Safe. I thought he was bluffing. Those fuckers always say the device is rigged to their hearts and none of them actually take the time to do it. You saved us, thanks. Crawford jumped on the grenade. I just gave him a little push. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> I sure as shit can't exhume him now. That's not funny. Sorry, I wasn't joking. You guys just scheduled this funeral so fast. Kind of weird, considering it's an active murder investigation, by the way. But uh, we were literally going to dig him up tomorrow. Discreetly, of course. Why? Your chief was murdered by the 7th Cavalry. I get it. It was a history. But you still have to consider other possibilities, right? If, for instance, I was at the crime scene earlier, and you know what I saw? Tire tracks right at the base of the tree. What kind of vehicle? I'm sorry, did I say vehicle? No, no, no. No, um, it was a wheelchair. I mean, I get how you guys missed it. You know, he was your chief, he was your friend. It's hard to do your job well when you're that close to someone. That's why I'm here. Hey, did you know that he had a secret compartment in his closet? What? Yeah, I was over there talking to his wife, and while I was there, I found the secret fucking compartment. Isn't that insane? Why were you looking in his closet? Oh, well, when my dad was murdered, they found a uh, secret compartment in his closet, so, you know, I always check. Once in a while, pans out. What was in it? You tell me. What was in it? How the fuck should I know? Well, his wife told me that you were the only person in that bedroom since he died. And frankly, Angela, you just don't strike me as the fainting type. Okay, I'll tell you. It was a bust, just a big naked bust, that's it. However, I think there was something on that bus. I don't know, maybe your pal Judd asked you to get rid of it if something ever happened, or you know, maybe the two of you were having an affair, which makes no sense because your husband's fucking hot. But whatever it is, this much I know. Men who end up hanging from trees with secret compartments in their closets tend to think of themselves as good guys. And those who protect them I think they're good guys, too. But here's the thing about me, Sister Knight. I eat good guys for breakfast. Ooh.